I think Benner is got a very important place in the cultural history of Britain, and not just Britain, because we're talking about an incredible diaspora. It's a hundred years old. There was this incredible migration in the, the 19th century uh, to Britain and from Europe, from elsewhere, from Russia, particularly from Europe. And uh, I think ben Uri kind of captured that and understood it from very early on. And the, the life of the migrant's life in Britain, the East End Jewish community, was really the first major um, migration. And it also happens to be a, a very creative community. And when we think about uh, Britain in relation to art, and we think about that story, that narrative, uh, the London School and others, P people like Bomberg as well, and, uh, and uh, Kossoff and Arba, people who are still with us, um, we know that that's a very critical moment. And then all the other names, what happened in Germany during the war, what happened to those people who were captured again uh, by Ben Uri, uh, and people like George Gross and people like Marc Chagall. I mean, the list is endless. These people tell you a story not just about art, but about society, about the world as it was then, and the world as it increasingly is becoming now, a world of where migration is absolutely critical, where the culture and the absorption of these people in the culture is part of the narrative of the story. And having these captivating pictures and portraits with this sensibility attached, uh, and also this very important art movement, you know, in the, the turn of the 20th century, uh, a critical moment in art which was captured by Benuri. So all in all, uh, Benuri is a unique asset um, and one which is sustained in this incredible collection. I mean, across the world, I mean, we hear now about the, uh, th what happened to the art that was, uh, which the Nazis, the degenerate art, um, which the Nazis were, were, were able to both steal and ignore, one at the same time. Um, people are beginning to understand that there are stories attached to these paintings, which is also interested in this, these artists' experience. So it makes them more accessible, and I think that's the importance of the Benori collection. And there is another issue here about the, the legacy. We're here in a small space, and you've got this incredible collection which needs to find a home, and I'm sure it will. But it has a home as well, online. And uh, people need to know about that. So, you know, the Your Paintings collection of the BBC, um, the, uh, you know, Google and other places, you can find these, these pictures. And what it also needs is a narrative to go with these pictures so that people can begin to understand and get absorbed in it. So I think that's one of the important things. Another factor, I think, about the Benori collection and about the work you do is your work in art therapy, uh, your work with schools, uh, so all of this is something which has added value. I absolutely believe that art and storytelling <laughs> go together in some way. I mean, we live in a world, you know, where I know people talk about abstraction and change. Uh, but not only that, it's, it's, you know, the sense that art ultimately, its roots are in human experience. And human experience, there are stories in human experience. And it may be the stories of the making. It may not be the stories which are embedded in the picture. Uh, but one way or another, and they are. You just recently, I think, acquired a, an incredible Marc Chagall, which in itself, if you look at it, you want to know, you want to interpret it and understand it. Uh, so I think that uh, the advantage you have uh, to draw people into this, to engage people, uh, is that there are amazing stories behind many of your pictures in your collection and in the story of the collection itself and how it began and the war that it went through, a war which is the Holocaust, the story of all of that. So it's, it's a very rich asset. The themes that preoccupy Ben Uri, art, identity, migration, which are 100 years old, essentially they're even older, they go back a long, long time they become more important, not less important. They become more ubiquitous. We're living through times where we're, city, we're living in the city, London. It's a story of cities as well. You can't go to a city, whether it's New York, which has essentially got a Jewish community there as well, but the migration there, the new communities who come from all across, across the world, 
um, this is going to become more and more important. And chronicling this experience through art is going to be something which we hope will continue. There are other art forms and other ways of telling these stories, but it's going to be increasingly important, not less important. And there's a big linkage between how the Jewish community integrated into society here and yet retained their own sense of identity, which can inform other minorities as they try to find a place, particularly in these big urban environments. And of course, the urban community, I mean, it is the theme of people like Leon Kossoff, that is it, you know, the, the underground stations, the, the places, the, the kind of sense of community um, and engagement. So I, I believe that these themes, which are, have preoccupied Benuri for 100 years now, are themes that are going to become even more enduring in the future. I am very interested in all this area myself. I've recently, we, we made a film, a feature film called Woman in Gold with Helen Mirren, which is based on a documentary that I made myself about uh, that picture, uh, the Klimt painting, which is now in a gallery in New York and which everyone goes up to and wants to know the story behind the picture. And you're lucky because you have got a story behind the pictures. And this is a way of engaging young people in art, in a way, they they find a way of, if they can see a story, they're intrigued by it. So uh, I think that's, you know, the great, um, you know, you have that possibility in, in, in the collection that you have. What I like about Ben Uri is personally also, my family were immigrants to, to Britain. And so I, I'm particularly engaged and attached to those narratives of where people have been and where they're going. And I, I believe that everyone is, and I don't think there are many places which have been so focused in their ambition as the Benori Gallery and actually following the, the, the story, the narrative, the progression of one group of people and trying to see where, where they, how they have integrated, what their journey has been, who they are. And that's what's special about Benori.